Hey guys, Coach Ben. We are traveling out to Fairhaven, Vermont. Going to be doing some training today with Jamie Mata. A uh, funny story, actually the first time I ever put on a shirt was up at this gym with Jamie. Uh, it was a sink apply phenom. I've never benched in a shirt before, so we only had like three plates on the bar, which was about my raw max at the time. And uh, you know, I didn't touch anything. I think we did some board work, but um, yeah, it was the first time I ever wore a shirt. Coming back up here today, we got a big session. I'm doing the mock last meet standing, so I'm going to be going through my actual meet attempts, uh, and I'm going to be working in some of my other shirts. So uh, we'll bring you guys behind the scenes. Hope you enjoy. Hey guys, so I have some footage here from training up in Vermont with Jamie Mata, who you can see behind the bench right now, uh, and his Fairhaven powerlifting team. You know, he, he owns an awesome gym up in Vermont there. Um, again, Fairhaven powerlifting, check him out. Uh, you know, he, he has the Facebook account. But uh, if you're ever in the area, awesome guy to train with, awesome team to train with. See Big Mikey there in the front. Um, you know, these guys always help me every meet, you know, the uh, most, uh, you know, welcoming group of dudes, uh, really strong team there, and Jamie's been in every bench shirt known to man, you know, he's, uh, he's really a technician of the game, been in it a long time, you know, I always learn a lot when I'm able to train with him and his crew, uh, like I said, they help me every meet, can't say enough good things, but, you know, this was a huge session for me. Uh, especially as a confidence builder. This was a mock last man standing session. So, again, the meet that I'm doing at the Arnold, it's not your typical three lift uh, bench only meet, right? It's a last man standing event. So, the bar is actually going to start at 600 pounds. All right. And that actually, at the time of this recording, um, I'm actually considering going heavyweight division, which the bar will actually start at 660. But for each division, it does start at select weight. So that's what we actually started with here in the shirt is 600 pounds. And you see we, we jump up and at, at the meet you're able to take anywhere from a 25 to a 40 pound jump. All right, just to go over the rules with everyone again. And, um, you know, this session is really going through those attempts that I'd like to take at the meet up to really, a, um, you know, a select amount. I'm hoping that I'm able to work up into the 800s. You know, I'm only going to go as far as I really need to to actually win. So it really depends on what the competitors are doing, which makes this an awesome event. But, um, you know, getting some raw warmth in. Here's the shirt. Now, last meet, the stitching on this shirt actually ripped. And I, I've used this shirt most of my career. You can see my gym bag there, full of stuff. Um, but last meet, there's a lot that went wrong last meet. It was not good. And... Um, you know, part of it too, the, the seams on the chest plate started tearing on the, on the first attempt. So I sent that out to Ginny Phillips to get uh, modified, you know, really seamed up. I pinched the sleeves again. And I got to be the small star bencher out there. Uh, I'm always pinching the sleeves on my shirts. But, um, you know, I had the, the sleeves pinched again. I love this shirt. Guys, I got this off eBay, um, you know, a couple years ago, probably three years ago now. Yeah, three years ago. And man, uh, it has just been the most consistent thing for me. It feels like home when I'm in it. Used this last Arnold, the notch, the 705, hit my best bench of 710 in it. Um, it just feels comfortable. And, um, you know, I'm going to ride this shirt out as long as I can to meet until I have to get into something maybe a little bit tighter, which I got the navy blue material um, SDP that Jamie's actually got on in the back there. But uh, I believe this is still a warm-up attempt. Um, it was 545, something like that. Um, but, man, it, it felt good to be back in this shirt again uh, and just working with the guys at the handoffs. So I'm actually bringing my own crew down to the Arnold to um, help me with, with handoffs. I got to get some practicing with them. Um, but I know these guys are always around if, if I need to uh, make some changes or anything. And they're always willing to help me, which is awesome. Again, great group of guys. You know, I knew right off the bat here, off this one board, I knew it was going to be a good day. That weight really moved for me. Um, again, ecstatic about being back in that shirt. Um, I think it was listed as a size 57 SDP. I think it's triple, triple everything, really. Uh, you know, here's Jamie getting in the uh, set. This guy is a technician. You know, he, he just knows how to operate in the bench shirts. 
great groove there. And he had a tremendous last man standing performance uh, when we were in Ohio doing the, the mock version of it. Um, and he, he came up with like a 60 pound PR. It was, it was absolutely nuts to watch. Um, I'm hoping he has another awesome meet at, at this year's Arnold. He, he won lightweight division last year. Uh, so hoping he has another great showing. Always cool when, when the people you train with and uh, the people that help you along do great things. You know, you always wish the best for them. Um, so, you know, big props to, to the wife as well. Got to give her a shout out for uh, coming down and, and hanging out with everyone and, and getting some filming in for me. Um, that's always much appreciated. You know, she helps me out with everything, including tables and, and all the inside the business. And, you know, I can't do it without her. Uh, here's 600 pounds. So this is the first attempt at the meet. So you, you, you guys tell me how this looks. I felt pretty confident about it. But, man, um, something was just a little bit off, though. So something was just a little bit off. Um, you know, I, I haven't touched too much. This is actually probably my first touch in the shirt this whole training cycle. So it, it felt slower than the move. That moved pretty good looking at it. But, um, you know, for, I was asking the guys, you know, how that moved because uh, it felt weird to get down to the chest. And anyone knows anything about multiply and shirted benching, you know that the difference between even a half board and no board um, is a shit ton difference, all right? And the difference between a one board and no board can be a shit ton difference. So uh, it, it just felt a little weird to me. Um, you can see I got both nostrils plugged up and you have the whole nosebleed problem going on, especially winter months. But, um, you know, I'll be, I'll be working through that. Anyways, jumped up to 640 here. You know, my plan, if I was going to go middleweight, would be to take the larger jumps up to the sevens so I don't wear myself out. You know, these attempts should be more than manageable for me. Uh, it's really through the 700s I got to be a little more selective and actually see what my opponents are doing as well. Um, so, again, just trying to work on setup stuff, um, getting comfortable under the bar, getting it a good setup my traps. Um, something still feeling off. This set really kind of felt off to me. Uh, did not feel right. Again, cannot pinpoint, but uh, I knew that the, the pad was a little slippery, and with my leg drive and the technique I used for leg drive, um, you know, I wasn't really staying planted on my traps. I was kind of getting to this shrugged up posture, which isn't like me, um, and I was kind of maintaining and getting hand handcuffed, so to speak, with my shoulders coming down. So... You know, we, we got some spray adhesive um, you know, that we had, someone had in the gym bag, and we sprayed it on the, the traps for me, uh, the upper back, and I was able to really get a good stick. And I think this is the attempt where I actually got that good stick. And this one felt great. This is 680. And then I was finally like, yeah, you know, now, now it's feeling right. Um, and I think this is that attempt. And also, Jamie's coaching me on tucking harder get more of my triceps. You can see right there at the end, I really make an effort to tuck. That felt right. Um, you know, you see he, he's pumped about that as well. Because um, I told him, man, that, that one felt good. So finally, three attempts in, really nailed it. Um, I think we move up to 7.15 here. So I didn't really know you could take anywhere between a 25 and a 40 pound jump. I was going to jump up like... Um, 25 pounds at this point. I don't want to take that 40 pound leap, but you know I'm gonna meet it somewhere in the middle there go up to 715 Because I I'm hoping you know I'm gonna be in trouble if I can't hit 715 and 715 will be a small five pound PR that I feel really good about um, And again conserving energy with attempts. So uh, You know that I'm planning on, on taking this 715 next you can see I go to a board here I think yeah one board here uh, again, this one felt great too. It, it felt great in general being back in that black material, my original SDP there. Um, not much range here to one board. You know, you can see the huge difference between them, but felt like I smoked that weight, getting good holds at the top. You know, a lot of confidence building here. See, I switched shirts now. We're up to 740. Again, a one board. Probably the best I've moved this weight to. This shirt is interesting. Very tight collar. I have a hard time getting my hands in position and getting my grip. However, that collar will stretch for me. All right, this is double ply. This is a stock Inzer SDP. But I like this shirt. Yeah, I felt good. That was the best I moved that 740 off of one board. 
Um, you can see we're working up a little heavier here. This is 765. <laughs> so, again, Jamie's t coaching me up to uh, you really tuck harder underneath the weight, something I wasn't doing well before. I wasn't taking advantage of the, the tricep seams there uh, or, you know, the, the, the sleeves of the shirt. Um, you know, I, I was really a collar dominant bencher. But now I'm trying to get a little bit out of both. And you can see this is 765. This is a one board. This ties an all-time PR for me um, in a completely different shirt. And it surprised me how good this moved off the board to the fact that I actually lost it on my right side. You'll see it drift back a little too far, and I lose the weight. But, man, was I pumped after this because of how fast it popped off that board. You can see right here. Watch this. Really working that tuck. Tuck, right? I get the touch and then boom. See how that thing just flew back and I, I ended up losing it on my right side. But man, did it pop good. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to play small. I'll take that again. going to be my last attempt. Come get a little beat up. Um, you know, I was getting a little winded at this point, so conditioning is something we got to work on. But going through this mock meet, really uh, beneficial. You can see I come back and nail it here. Although it's slow. I wrote a really good groove. I was really happy about that. So this session, huge confidence builder. I'm feeling really good about the Arnold right now. You can see this weight comes right up. Strong hold. And the rack. I'm real happy with that session. As you are in the Big Bench's HQ office space right now, um, we got the camera set up. Got Elvis over here filming. Um, we got the podcast coming up, all right, so I know not really training related, however, um, you know, I want to take you behind the scenes here a little bit of uh, just what's going on and the, uh, the business side of things. So what we're going over today is a planning guide, so that's available, bigbenches.com, totally free, and you can see here, got my handy dandy notebook and these are all uh, lifting goals, things like that. So my guide that I made is a step-by-step -step guide. Um, you know, it's going to take you through everything from setting your goals to uh, just planning out your year, um, then like you know, recapping the year and, and things you need, action steps you need to do to really, uh, you know, make sure that goal comes to fruition. All right, so we're taking you behind the scenes a little bit. We had a great podcast last week with Garrison, right? That was sweet. That was a good one. If you didn't listen to that, go check that out. So it's Wednesday morning right now. This is usually when we podcast. You can always jump on the IG live. Um, but yeah, we just uh, we just set this all up. We're about to go IG live. We got people like skipping out and work here. We're going to find the time and work to get on this podcast because we're giving out a lot of free gifts. So um, I don't know if you can see me here, but... Anyway, this is something I really enjoy doing, the whole podcast for you guys, and, um, you know, it's just part of my week, and, and um, you know, I'll probably try to find time to train after that, but, you know, for me, uh, you know, a lot of the business stuff comes before my training as well, so, um, you know, I, I mentioned on a podcast before that I do think what I what I do with the business stuff will, will definitely hinder um, you know, what I put into the, the training, getting to where I need to be, um, just because if you want to be one of those guys that are the best in the world, uh, that's got to be your full-time job, and, you know, just that's, that's not something I'm willing to do, I got a lot going on right now, so, um, with business stuff, and then I'm sure, you know, family will come, come, uh, down the line, you know, have kids someday and stuff, so, um, just it's never my my goal to be best in the world. I do have some big bench goals and stuff. Uh, I want to do really well at the Arnie, but um, you know I'll probably never reach that full potential because truly to be a top level athlete, you know, those guys uh, in the Olympics and stuff, they're just training full bore every day. You know, watch some of those MMA fighters; they're after it every single day. So uh, you know that's that's just that's got to be your life, but. We got some other stuff going on here, right, Elvis? We got the bench cast film today. Oh yeah, we, we gotta get on this. We got two so minutes let's get to go. two minutes. We gotta jump on the IG live, guys. All right.